All right, so now what I'm going to do is go in and assign maybe 30 frames of animation. Okay, then I'm going to make sure that I can only see those 30 frames. So I'm just going to kind of scooch this over. And you can see it shrink down. I generally work with short-term animation, you know, no more than maybe 200 frames. And what happens is I need to do character outputs, which are like uh, run cycle, dodge, fight, jump, all those good things. So that's why I'm so used to using, like, you know, very short-term animation. I, d I don't do anything long-term runs. Those are CG people, and those, have, those people have the patience of a priest. They also have mocap suits, which I do not own. So, <laughs> other than that, uh, the wizardry happens really uh, for those people that can rig rather well, um, have the patience of a priest, or have a mocap suit. Other than that, I like pose by pose because it's cheap, easy, and it yields really good results. So, here's how you start. Since this is in a group, I can key everything at the same time. Uh, in other words, I can go into pose mode and hit here, and then I can key it over here. Okay, I'm just going to key this, and I'm going to key it on rotation. Okay, now I'm just going to go over here to 30 and insert some keyframe, rotation. And then in the middle here, I'm going to do something different. Let's say I raise this arm up. It goes into this position. And there we go. So hit A, insert keyframes for rotation. All right, what happens? Well, it does a nice job of just raising the arm and then putting it back down. So right here, I might want to do something. While it's still up in the air, I can take this and if I want it as a pose for later on, like right here, I can copy these keyframes over to the other region. Now, there's a couple different ways I like to do this. Um, but I'm going to teach you just one right off the bat. I can hit and make this a pose temporarily. So I can go like this. Oops. There we go. I'll just name this temp. And with temp, I can go to this here and just hit temp. And now it switches back. And then I can go like this. Again, I'll hit A to insert keyframes on rotation. So now I'm, I'm like this. So I like it to be a little longer. So I'm just going to reinitialize the temp. So this one, I'm just going to click on temp. And this time it's going to be a little bit over this side. And then hit A and insert keyframes for rotation. All right, so let's see what we got. Boom. There we go. Very simple. Now the rest of the body seems very, very stiff to me. So what I'm going to do on this keyframe is just kind of adjust it. Oops, not that one. I want this one. And then I can update this by just hitting A. Insert keyframes on rotation. Okay, let's see what happens. That yeah, feels about right. And this is what you're going to do mentally in your head. You're like, Tick, 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 tick. because uh, 
you're just metrodoming it. Uh, it's a it's a little thing that you're going to develop. Trust me. Uh, after a while, you're just you just try to set a natural rhythm for things, and it helps by just mentally. There we go. See how that there's an action and reaction here. So if I wave my arm, the body would slide a little bit and then go back. That just little reaction right there is a huge hit. Okay, again, there's some things that would sway. There might be this arm, and I just move it slightly. Then hit A, insert keyframes for rotation, and then see how that looks. Perfect. Action, reaction. All right, you now have your first 30 frames of animation. And well, trust me when I say this, uh, <laughs> that that's a very short little thing right here, but it will help in the long run. What we're going to do now is take these and export them out. So please meet me back in the next video.